Hello Aries, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday reading. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say, Aries. Let's go. Let us see what your cards have to say. We are still feeling the effects of this new moon in Libra, although the moon is now in Scorpio, but we're still feeling the effects of the new moon, right? Let's see what your cards have to say. First card out of the deck is the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords. We also have the um, Eight of Swords. We also have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and also the King of Wands. All right, so here we have the five of uh, the five of swords. Every time somebody thinks of some energies from your past, it, it gives you a headache. It just frustrates you almost to a point of driving somebody crazy. Just like when you start thinking about two energies in particular, just this is thinking, right? Your heart, head, and heart are at war with each other. But source is saying you survived a lot in your life, and you'll definitely survive this. So it's time to move on, and I see you moving on. Here we have the ten of wands, and then we also have the page of uh, page of pentacles. I see somebody being booked and busy and not burdened at all, but somebody is definitely watching you. Somebody is definitely looking at you, Aries, and trying to see any kind of pain or any kind of uh, frustration, any kind of weakness, and whoever, whatever it is you're thinking about, they are definitely watching. So you have a lot of great ideas. If you are caught slipping where you just kind of sort of checked out, they're ready to pounce. And sometimes when people are brokenhearted and deeply disappointed, their mind drifts off into something else. And then boom, that, that energy is jumping right out at you because they're watching. They are definitely watching, ready to pounce. It could be a Leo or somebody who has Leo somewhere in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But somewhere in their chart, they're definitely waiting to see any kind of weakness in you. So if you're sitting around, like I said, checked out because heartbroken or deeply disappointed or whatever, and you caught slipping, that's exactly when they're gonna, that's the, when they're going to act. So... Stay focused. Here we have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords. Here we have the Page of Swords, the King of Swords. We have the Empress card and the Seven of Coins. Even if their sign is not a Leo, they have a lot of pride, right? And and so that er that pride and that arrogance and them being dogmatic and feeling like, okay, I got to get, you know, I got to get you back for something. And this is a loved one. This is a person who, uh, whether they related to you or not, or related to or connected to someone that you love, they're definitely waiting in the wings. So I see you going into, uh, um, you know, going through a, uh, just a cord cutting ceremony and just saying, hey, I need to start focusing, growing, uh, planting seeds to grow my money. So I need to move on from all of this. The Ten of, uh, ten of Swords, you, you survived a lot of slander, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of uh, all of that thing. You survived it. So here we have the King of Swords. We also have the Three of Swords and the Page of Swords. Your anxiety is going to go away very, very soon, but I just wanted to warn you, somebody is definitely watching and they're looking, they're looking to see, because it's somehow they figure you hurt them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They figure you somehow hurt them and they are not going to let up until they see you hurt. So the person has a lot of pride and somehow you must, they must've found out something or, or, or something. So, um, you may want to look at the, uh, all right, so let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else. So I do see somebody, you know, overthinking something, just a lot of pain and everything around somebody. But again, you know, um, a lot of pain could be, like I said, loved ones doesn't necessarily mean, uh, family members that could have been pain, but it could be also people that you have like adopted to some degree, like your brothers and sisters, you know how sometimes friends are like, Oh, this is my brother. This is my sister. You know, even if you don't even look alike, <laughs> you know, because they've been in your life for so long or you, you have grown close to them and you've allowed them to get close to your heart. Oh, this is my, you introduce people as this is my brother. This is my sister. So source is saying to you, you survived a lot. So now it's time for you to thrive, but also in your healing process, you know, your default uh, Aries, sometimes it's just a go, 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 go. Sometimes it's a good idea to sit down somewhere and pay attention to what's going on around you because it looks like a sneak attack. It looks like somebody is really watching you to see any kind of weakness whatsoever. And so all I can do is, like I said, shine a light on what I'm seeing here in the cards. But uh, be careful. That's all I can tell you. Just be careful because... You'd be surprised that you could have moved on with your life and somebody could be still holding a grudge. And you're like, what? Where'd that come from? You know, and all of a sudden you shocked. Like, I cannot believe it. But source keeps telling somebody to move away from something, like go on, move on from something. And uh, somebody is definitely watching. Somebody who has a lot of pride 
They feel like their pride has been bruised and no amount of card reading. They could be watching your reading. They could be watching their reading. They could be watching other people's reading. Something When we talk about sword cuts, somebody feels like somebody going to pay for this. That's how they feel. Like um, no matter how much hurt they've experienced in their life, some, something about you is making them just feel like, okay, I got to get Aries back. So they definitely battling demons in their spirit. Here we have the five of wands. And so source is saying, protect yourself, protect yourself. This is what you want to cover. Be covered in self-love right here. This pink right here. Become, although you could be lamenting over something, source is like, I'm trying to grow your money. I need you to get on with your life. Move on. Two situations in particular. So it says take a trip, go somewhere, but somebody's heading harder at war with each other. And see this seven of swords right here? This is the kind of energy somebody's on. What's that? So I, I thought I said seven of swords. Yeah, this is the kind of energy somebody's on. Somebody is very, very angry and vindictive, but this rebirth for you, it could be causing a lot of stress where your mind could be racing and all over the place, right? And so this is a major, this is an opportunity for a major reset and move on and um, move on in childlike faith and get laser focused back on somebody's heart could be blue, but sources get laser focused on your purpose, get laser focused on your purpose. No matter who broke your heart, family members, whomever, but there's somebody in particular while you heartbroken and sad or disappointed in something, somebody feels vengeance. That's the, all the vengeance and all they care about is they don't even care that, that they could hurt you or they could have hurt you or they could have done something to you. It's like somebody is moving around so fast. They're not paying attention. So I do see you eventually moving on. So here we have spend some time with friends and they have to be friends by your definition of friends. Not somebody that you feel like, okay, well, I can't. I don't know if I can trust this one or not. You don't need to be around anybody that you just have a tinge of doubt about, right? Not, not right now. Emotions are running high. Like I said, emotions are running very, very, very high. So, mm, mm, mm. Non-duality, let your authentic humanity shine forth while you are also bowing to your inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. This is where, when we talk about non-duality, we're just talking about your whole person, your uh, whole and complete. So your default is directed outward, divine masculine energy, right? But this is where you want to learn how to be in that feminine energy because somebody is doing too much, giving too much energy to thought and not enough one foot in front of the other, getting as far away from people you know, who are, who are vengeful. They, all they're focusing on is their pain and that kind of thing. And they're lurking, watching, they could be watching you on social media. I'm not trying to make anybody feel paranoid. You can see the card right here for yourself. This is you and this is them. So, and that energy is out for blood. That's all I can tell you. They, they ready. They want to rip somebody's rep, reputation to shreds. They want to, I mean, just create a whole bunch of, cat, like a wild animal. That's all they care about. So, all right, Aries, let's get ready to close it out. 20, I am harmonious. So you relate to others in an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building, harmoni to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. This energy right here, don't care about any gentle me. Source is saying something that you've been still connected to. Source needs you to get as far away from it as possible. Like really start the healing process. So if it's, I'm sad and I'm grieving something, you could be grieving a number of things. Remember, think of it this way, Aries. Let's say for instance, um, you know how in the movies sometimes where people are go out on a, on a hike and then all of a sudden people get snatched up by wild animals. You don't even have time to grieve the loss of loved ones. It's a movie that's coming to mind. It's called, uh, it's a movie with Idris Elba. It's called Beast, right? I think it's out on Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever. It's a really, really good movie. So, you know, your adrenaline is up high, right? You don't even have time to even, you don't even have time to, uh, and the beast was this, this, you know, oversized lion, right? And it talked about the, the character traits of women, female lions versus male lions, right? In the movie. If you've seen the movie, if anybody has seen the movie, drop a comment below. You've seen the movie. But that's kind of what this speaks to is somebody feels like 
even if you didn't do something directly to to somebody, they feel because you're a part of something, they got to take you out too. They are just enraged, right? So source is saying, you don't even have time to grieve goodbyes. You don't have time to grieve the loss of loved ones, nothing. You just got to protect yourself and get as far up, get as far now that you're in the light and you're aware of certain types of energies and how they, re, how they, um, how vengeful some energies could be. The only thing you need to be doing is staying as far away from them as possible. Staying as far away from them as possible because source is trying to grow your money and source is trying to send new money across your path, but you could be grieving over something else. And this energy will go right in and then take whatever money is trying to come your way, like in the form of a lawsuit. So maybe that needs to wake somebody. I don't know, but you know, yeah. So it's just trying to send money your way, but somebody else is watching. So freedom, affirmations for freedom. I am free to be me. I am free to live fully. I am present in this moment. I am not bound by my circumstances. I am stronger than fear or doubt. I have the power to create a new reality. That is what I have for you, Aries, and I'll see you all on Wednesday. The questions for the moon and Sagittarius that you'll start to fill on uh, Tuesday. Our first question is... What is your heart yearning to learn and do? Second question is, where do you want to be in five to 10 years? Third question is, what are your main challenges on your path to your envisioned future? Fourth is, are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or learning a new skill? And then last but not least is, are you on your path? That's what I have for you, Aries, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.